fellow guardians, both of the plays here bringing you another episode of Where in the Tower is Zer Age of the Nine. It is the weekend of May 12th through the 14th, and Zer is in the tower hangar way down in the bar. So go through the hangar all the way underneath Future War Cult. Hanging out back here in the back of the bar. First up, we got the Legacy Engram, Leg Armor. It'll give you Year 1 Leg Armor Engrams, which isn't a whole lot of choices. Um, pretty much only if you need Year 1 stuff is this worthwhile, just to fill out your collection. Titans get the Immolation Fist Gauntlets. Zodic Perk is Accelerant, unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node Explosive Pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. It's got increased strength or intellect, rain blows or impact induction, hand cannon loader or shotgun loader. Uh, if you're looking for an actual Sunbreaker specific exotic, this is probably your best bet, though there's not much choices, but some of the more general ones could be better, like Twilight Garrison or the, um, the other chess piece, I can't remember, the double grenade one. I'm drawing a blank on the name. But yeah, if you're looking for a straight-up Sunbreaker one, that's your best bet. Hunters get the Capri Sting Gauntlets. This exotic perk is Touch of Venom. Gain invisibility after crouching in place for a short time. Melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times damage. Melee attacks apply a lingering damage effect. So, you can turn invisible by crouching... Your melee, your backstab will do four times the damage. So if you, yeah, you do this with Blade Dancer with backstab and everything, you can get massive amounts of damage. And it also has a DOT on it. Uh, not a whole lot of people use this just because of the melee. You have to get close with melee, but it could be worthwhile. Especially, some people like to use this in years past, where you'd kind of... Hide, crouch, turn visible, and then nail it with the melee just to get that. And I believe the damaging, the 4x damage works with the way of being invisible with Blade Dancer. You don't have to use the crouching from this to get it. Just any invisibility, melee from behind counts. So you can nail someone and completely destroy them with one shot. It's got Discipline, Strength, Switchblade, a Momentum Transfer. Auto rifle loader or sniper rifle loader. So it's worth picking up just to have it. It's kind of a cool looking one. Uh, you're probably going to use something else most of the time though. And the warlocks get the Ophidian Aspect Gauntlets. Its exotic perk is Viper Totemic. Improved energy drain and weapons ready and reload very quickly. You get increased discipline or increased strength. Snap discharge or impact deduction. Energy projection or momentum transfer. General PvP, this or the transfer steps are your best bet across the board, regardless of subclass. This one gives you the improved energy drain and being able to have weapons ready and reload quickly. So swift swapping weapons is quick, reloading them are quicker, and just helps overall with being ready to get into a gunfight in PvP. I'd say definitely pick these up if you don't have them. And the weapon this week, we have the Zalo Supercell Auto Rifle with Arc Burn. The exotic perk is Zalo Supercell. Arc projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. It's got CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, or Aggressive Ballistics, Persistence, Hammer Forged, Rifled Barrel, or Braced Frame, and bolts from the blue. Double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. So getting double kills with this, so like in PvE, getting double kills off of ads and everything, you're just constantly not having to reload. You'd probably run the aggressive ballistics with either hammer forged or brace frame, depending on if you can handle the stability. And it comes also with two ornaments that you can get for it, the Nada toy. 
and the shock hazard, which in my opinion is one of the cooler looking ones. It just fits the gun really well. Weapon bundles this week. We have the Hawkmoon and Carrion ornament. And the Zalo Supercell and not a toy ornament. And this is one of those weeks where the whole price of these weapon bundles doesn't make sense. Doesn't help. So you could buy the gun this week for 23 go to the silver dust kiosk and get the ornament for 25 silver dust or you can spend an extra seven strange coin and just get them in one shot doesn't make sense so yeah if you want this zala supercell definitely buy it here and then just go to the silver dust kiosk to buy the ornament curios this week we have the plasma drive or the emerald coil vehicle upgrades to get your rare sparrows to legendary we have the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, a 3 stack, or a 10 stack. The 3 of Coins in a 7 stack, or a 5 stack, excuse me. And the Glass Needles in a 3 stack. And the Material Exchange, like always, you can trade in 2 Strange Coins for Moto Light, or 7 of them for an Exotic Shard. So that was Zer's inventory for the weekend of May 12th through the 14th. Um, for sure I would say pick up the Warlock Gauntlets and the gun if you don't have it. Everything else is just kind of up to you and how much you think you use it or if you want a complete collection. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what you brought, what you're looking, still hoping for, looking forward to. And then check out my other videos at youtube.com slash c slash boltzilla plays. And you can check me out stream from time to time over at twitch.tv slash boltzilla plays. Till next time guardians, take it easy.